Welcome to the Kairos Kids Production, where we talk about ways to help children connect with kids. Honey, how is that little boy who you've been praying for so much? What's his name again? Oh, you mean little Neely? Yes, that same one. I noticed that he was at church and Bible study last week. Yeah, man. He even gave his life to Jesus in the week, you know. Oh, that's so wonderful. His mother says him even behaving himself at home. You know, I have an idea. We can have Junior go through the Bible with him. Isn't little Neely in your class too? Yeah, man. That's a great idea. I can talk to him about it when I bring him to school this morning. Lord Jesus, this Christian thing seems to be working out for me. I know I'm far from perfect, but I, I think you are changing my heart a little. I better start getting ready for school. Marco, I want you to reach out to the young man who started coming to church recently. Who, little Neely? That boy's a Christian. He has always been mean to me. Hey boy, move out of the way. What me I do to you? You know who me? I mean I'm little Neely. Teacher, inbox me. You serious? I remember. Your face swelled for a whole week. I did not know it was him. How can he be a Christian? And you want me to check on him? As much as I'm a little angry, Junior, you have to forgive the boy. I believe that God really changed his heart. As Christians, we have to use the gifts that we have to serve others. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. I don't know about that if I have the words to get through to him. Marco, you have a good way of explaining Bible stories. Just go through one of them with him. I need more time, Daddy. Can't I do it next month? Pray and ask the Lord to give you the words to say. You will play your part and God will do his. I will try. See him over there. Oh Lord, please tell me what to say to this boy. Who is that, Marco? I saw you at church on Sunday, but you were all the way at the front with your father. Well, uh, um, never mind. I have to go. So embarrassing. Don't think I can do it. Lord, please help me. Juno, you talked to him already? Did you do it? Um, I spoke to him, but... But? What what? Daddy, I don't think I can do it. I don't think he will listen to me. You remember the story I told you about the talents? You mean in Matthew 25? Yes. Matthew 25 talks about a rich man who went to a faraway land and left all his money with his three servants. To one he gave five bags of gold, another got two bags, and the last one got one bag of gold. The servant who only got one was very upset, but one bag of gold is still a lot of money. The rich man knew what each of them could manage. The first two servants invested what they had, but the one who got the least did nothing at all. When the rich man came back, he was so pleased with the first two servants, but he was very angry with the one who did nothing. The money in the story is just like the talents God gives us. God gives us gifts and talents to serve himself and others. Alright daddy, I'm going to talk to him after school. Do you know what our topic is today? Go ahead, guess. Do you give up? Okay. What is today's truth? God gives every Christian gifts and abilities to serve himself and others. The more we serve others is the more God blesses us with more gifts and talents. Children can serve God just like adults. I am knowing this
truth, and the truth is setting me free. Lord, I pray that you will show me what my talents are and help me to work on them. And same goes for all those children who are watching this video so that they will find their talent and serve you and others. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget the quizzes in the description below. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Also, like and subscribe. Click the notification bell for more videos from this channel.